and welcome. Welcome to the stream for the final Chrono Trigger stream. Now, before we do the intro, I just want to say we're going to do the intro in full one more time. But I just want to say thank you for joining me. I wasn't even sure I was going to stream tonight, but we're going to do it. Finish the game. There's not much left. But it's been a hell of a journey, and I got a little bored, so I figured, fuck it, I'll finish the game tonight. So, without further ado... No, it's good. You just don't get it, bro. Snapping my fingers to the music. It's nice, isn't it? Man, that flute. Oh wow, that was really ahead. Holy shit, how did it get so ahead? Alright, it stopped. It's over. You, you can, you can put, sew your ears back on. Dactyl has been given. Vinny, what the fuck instrument even was that? Oh, that was jazz. Vinny, I am in love with the idea of you being an idea of you. Holy fuck. <laughs> what is going on, man? Welcome to the stream once again. We're uh, in the Black Omen. And just pretend I'm loading a file here. I'll even press the noise. Ah, there it is. So yeah, last time oh, we were in the Black Omen, and just finishing things up. There's a big Lavos battle, and a couple things to do, I think, in Chrono Trigger Plus. And then after this, we'll check out a game called Dum Dum. You Dum Dum. Vinny, thank you for keeping the strong man. Well, thank you for being you. Chat, did I come from this way? Oh man, I'm confused. Am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, the strong man, I, I went and chroma keyed the background out, and I placed him a little bit better. So... Someone said, Dum Dum. What the fuck is Dum Dum? I don't know what your daffy games are, mate. I don't know what it is either. I'll tell you what, though, I played... 
a couple hours of Deep Rock Galactic today. That game got updated quite no oh god. That game is very good. Well, I guess we're grinding for experience by accident. Have you played more pork chop game? No. But then again, I haven't even played Fire Emblem. I booted up Fire Emblem last night, and I just listened to like 20 minutes of support conversations while I was fading in and out of sleep, and I just kind of said, nah, I'm good. So, I'll probably get a chance to play more Fire Emblem soon, and I'm gonna return to Snack World and eat some pork chops and, and uh, stave off Buyer's Remorse, which is the true final boss of, of that game. Are you in Chapter 10? I'm at Chapter 10, yeah. Any new thoughts on Bernadetta? Um, yeah, anytime she gets some development, she has to undercut it with some stupid shit about how assassins are hiding around the corner and that, you know, people are gonna kill her. So nothing, nothing new. It's the same. I have, the, I have just, just the same reaction as before. I know the reason she's like that. It's just... Even, you know, the, the writing is designed to be comedic, even though there's a dark reason. I don't mind the writing in the game, I like most of the writing and the world building is very good. But I, honestly, that stuff is, is, is handled in a weird way and I'm not, like, crazy about it. Also, she's not a real character person, Jet, so, you know. I don't know if you knew that. Someone said, yeah, it would be better if it were a little less comedic. Yep. That's- that's really all I was asking for. I want to like her as a character, I do. I don't hate her, it's just... She becomes a little bit annoying, and Ferdinand von Eyer always is just about... Ah, my lance, my horse. My name. I'm a noble. Pubert tried to kill me again. So, that's as far as I'm basically... I'm- that's what I'm doing in that game. Right, okay, so yeah, this is where I am now, okay. Man, a save point was right here. <laughs> I save-stated last time. I was like, oh, not gonna find another save point for a while. Right there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Progress is up from that save point. What do you mean? Oh god, now I'm backtracking. Chat. I should know better. Holy fuck. I guess we're not finishing this game tonight. Estoy Lupin. Oh no, I gotta do the fight again. Oh no! <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright. No, I'm not gonna reload the save state. I've already killed a number of enemies and got some experience. I'm good. It's fine. Just deal with it. I know which way I'm going now. 
anyway, um, I wanted to talk about this yesterday, but I forgot. But there's a game that was announced called 30XX. It's a sequel to a game I played called 20XX, which is based on Mega Man X. And, uh, it was good. It's like a roguelite Mega Man type game, and it's- it's actually a very good game. Looked a little bit like Poopy. 20XXX. XX. And so, this new one that they announced... 30XX looks great. It looks a lot more like Mega Man Zero. And, uh, it's got a pixel style that is just... appropriate, I feel. And I'm- I'm looking forward to it. It might not be out for another couple years, but... They got the guy who did Dead Cells animations to do the art for it. Well, what they've shown so far has been very good. I'll even show you a little bit. I maybe shouldn't be saying this out loud because I want to support the developers, but... How the fuck... I just want to know how- how- how are they, like... Is this legally distinct enough for them to get away with it? Is my question. When you see it, you'll know what I mean. Was 20XX distinct enough? Uh, that's what I'm think- I don't- yes, it seems like- oh, fuck. Any word on Vine Boot? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm like half paying attention to the game because I'm talking about this this other game and it's um it's leading to me healing the enemy. I have no I have no information on Vine Boot. It's there, but it's just not working. Just for a second, I want to show you what this game looks like, because, again, I think it looks really cool, and... It is definitely legally distinct Mega Man X Zero, or ZX, or Zero, and I think that's fine. I think it looks great. Keep in mind, too, I'm, like, showing this at a kind of a blurry resolution, but, um, oh god. It's- it's very close. Who's this person? Do they have a laser sword? It's blue, not green. Don't worry about it. It's totally legally distinct Mega Man in the best possible way, and I can't wait for it to come out. So... I just, I felt very, um, very happy about that release, especially because it fixed the main issues I had with the previous game's visuals. Giga Man? Giga Guy! Alright, listen up, Vine Sauce Gamers! Giga Guy needs your help! in defeating Capcom's brutal lawyers. That's why we need those wacky digits on that card. Need the date. Oh, wrong spell. And we're also gonna need those three wacky digits on the back of the card. Vinny, was there ever a 10XX? No, I think that if there was a 10XX, it would be Blasphemous. Yes, there was a 10XX. It had a different name, though. Blasphemous. Wow, this dude's tough.
even though I'm, like, overpowered, I'm still... If I am not careful, I can get utterly de destroyed. Vinny, is there not Reptite crap to do? I don't believe so. I think, um, I have done most of the new stuff. Someone said there's something you knew you can do with Reptites. You gotta be careful, you don't want to take the Reptites to 1999. Oh, well after the Black Omen, maybe some of that stuff opens up. Vinny, did you do the swamp place in 2300 yet? Yeah. Wow, I, Magus has full magic. I didn't even know you could get re like, a tab could get rejected like that. Someone said, I mean, it's right in his name. Yeah. Yeah. Vine boot isn't working because you have 50 uploaded emotes. You're attempting to use 52 of the emotes. Well, fuck me for wanting to have a good time, huh? How was that noise? Okay, physical does not work on the top one. The drone? No, we sold the drone. <laughs> maybe the drone from beyond the fucking grave, maybe. Also, it was very cold today. Today was a very, very cold day. Not, not that anyone needed to know these things, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, winter is usually cold. Weird, right? Reaper. Chat, is this supposed to be here? I don't remember getting another scythe for Magus. Uh, maybe it is? It's hard to say. It's new. It's it's new. Okay. I mean, it's not like he needs a better scythe, but I'll take it. Mod creator said Epoch in 1999 soon. Oh, that would be cool. Vinny, how was the new Tim Impala album? Um, I'm still not fully digesting that album yet. In other words, I... I need some more time with it. But I'm not... it's not my favorite. I think it's gonna end up being, um... Behind the other three albums, uh, overall, in my enjoyment. But it's still good. 
I've said it before. I said it yesterday, and I'll just, uh, I'll leave it at this until next week. But it, it's a good album, and it sounds amazing. It's the most well-produced album I've heard in, in years. But it doesn't, it doesn't keep me around. Uh, a couple of the songs do. And then sometimes I can't tell the songs apart. But that also might be because I need to listen to, to it several more times. I like the one I played on stream the other day, though. That one was good. I still like that one a lot. Breathe, man. Just breathe, man, I think is the name of it. I don't know the name of it. What's the name of it? Breathe deeper. Oh. I do- I prefer the original Borderline as well, yeah. But... I can- like, I can almost put myself in Kevin Parker's position, where suddenly people like Rihanna are covering his music. Um, or in her case, just taking the song and singing on top of it. And... get half a billion plays for your music on Spotify. You get like, fucking rich and famous, and suddenly you're on the phone with Mick Jagger, and... You know, you kind of almost have to put yourself in this- in this position of how do you deliver on those expectations, on that hype. Those five years of people waiting for your next album. And the answer is you overthink the fuck out of it. And I think that's what we got. Again, not bad. I'm not into, uh... I- I- I'm not into a couple songs, but I- I still like it. I'm- I'm very... Happy that it's out. But, um, I was kind of hoping he would go, like, Kid A. To Currents... Being the okay computer. You know, and, like, do a complete fucking turn. Um... But he just went more pop. It Might Be Time is great. Yeah, I love that one. Um, Pearl Jam's new single? I haven't listened to Pearl Jam's new single. I've listened to Pearl Jam's first new single, but not the new new one, where you have to point your cell phone at the moon to listen to it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, there's Clono. There's Marl. Interesting. Why are these, um... I... I Whatever this room is supposed to represent. Maybe it's just supposed to scare the shit out of us. Um, someone said, I've played this game like six times, I still don't understand this room. I'm right there with you. Clobo? Clog? I know. No Magus, by the way. Clayla? Kluka? <laughs> Clarl? Clamarl? Coral. Behold, my pretties. Okay, Wicked Whisk, uh, Witch of the West. Wicked Whisk. Of, uh, on my desk. Behold, my pretties. Destiny in its most brutal form. All the dreams that might have been. All the happiness and sorrow you might have experienced. Gone forever. For you, there will be no tomorrow. The Dark Omen transcends time and space, waiting for Lavos to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and here you shall rest forever. Unless you can defeat me and smash the Omen. Come, dear friends. Perhaps I can persuade Lavos to share his dreams with you. Did I say dreams? I meant his eternal nightmare. Starting early, are we, Queen? Vinny, the mod was last updated today. It's much too late. It's gonna be like my Black Mesa playthrough, where now it's getting a 1.0 version. People are gonna be like, Vin, you need to play this. I'm like, dude, I just- I literally just did.
Does that scythe not have graphics? Someone said, I don't think it ever did. I don't think it ever existed in the original version. Very powerful. When it crits, it does that four times damage, but yeah, it doesn't have any visuals. Apparently it does, but they're not coded right. Ugh. It's from the DS post-game. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I forgot about that. I don't remember a lot of the DS version because... I've only ever played through it a couple times. I think twice i played through the DS version. Update the mod to fix the graphics. <laughs> now I, c I can deal with the missing scythe. Ah, my powers don't seem to work here. Wait, I'll simply toss you into the Mammon machine. You'll be one with the Omen, Lavos! And me?! It might be time to boot it! Yep, the mammon machine. It's got a, like, a face on it. Look at that face in the middle of it. Everything has a face on it, in and around and on the Black Omen. I think there was a, um, a, a toy. There's like a, um, a figure of the Black Omen that came with the ruby knife. If I'm not mistaken. It looks like a turnip from Super Mario Bros. 2. It really does. It really fucking does. I'm gonna try to find that toy. I say toy, I don't really know what it is. It's, it's a model? It's only a model. Fan Gamer used to sell it. I like that it's a Toriyama design that doesn't look like Goku, that's fun. Actually, the turnip face has the Goku, like, angry look. Never mind. it, by the way. Kinda really wish this was still available, but... You cretins. I plan to live with Lavos and control the universe forever. You will not be getting in my way. Be getting? Idiots. Nothing can live forever. Zeal. A pitiful woman duped by Lavos. I, it's your mother! I myself will bring an end to all of this. With the help of Chrono and Frog, I guess. Prophet, you are doomed. I haven't forgotten what you did at the Ocean Palace. 
You will now forfeit your life. Normally, um, when you... When you do this fight, um, without Magus, it's a different sound, a different music. But having him in your party, you get his, his theme, which is great. Oh fuck, I forgot. The Hanzu. Yeah, so it's a hand boss, you gotta be real careful about this one. Chrono Cross Let's Play soon. I- I have been- I'll answer it again. I will answer the question again. No. Not for five years or so. <laughs> My Let's Plays are the, the hippest, dopest. But no, um, there's already one on my Full Sauce channel. Type Vine Sauce Chrono Cross. Hey, that rhymes. And you will get what you- the informations you were looking for. I only have 15 Mega Elixirs left. I don't know what to do, chat. <laughs> Larry David would be like, Whoa, what's that attack? What are you doing? I guess there's a way to take out the hands, I just don't remember how to do it. Maybe just physical attacks? I guess we'll get that glove on eventually. One is physical, one's magic. At this point, I may as well just leave them alone. Oh my god. When Chrono's sword goes into, um, critical, when it does a critical hit, it sounds like he's saying, GET FUCKED! <laughs> Guess we're just gonna take my, uh, MP away for no good reason. Thanks. Yes, because that spell totally didn't hit the other hands. I believe it. Do you? This is the coolest setting for a battle, though. You can steal prismatic dress and prism helms from those hands. God damn it. I mean, I'm not powerful enough. I need more power. Jenny. God 
about it. How dare you insects come after me! Oh, almighty Lavos, lend me your power. We need to get out of here now. Or face Lavos. Oh, wait, that's new. Uh, I thought that was Queen Zeal. Nope, that's just... Any one of the team members. Um, I'm gonna run. <laughs> we just jump off the fucking Black Omen. Cool. At last, Lavos awakens. Compared with him, you are like germs, but I... I shall obtain immortality! Kind of already are, though. I mean, you did. So, congratulations. I thought we ran from this. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Rom hack, by the way. I want to show you guys a scene. I think. How do I... Wait a minute. Is it even possible to show you the scene where the Ipoch crashes into Lavos? It might not be. Because the thing that- it just goes... You know what I mean? Go to 1999 from anywhere other than the end of time. Okay, that- that works. Vinny, it won't let you escape if you do. Uh, I saved. I just want to show off the scene because it's cool. be happening. Come on out now! <laughs> Boy, we are seeing this a lot. Lavos just knows exactly when to erupt. I've been waiting for this! Oh no. Be thee certain! This battle leadeth nowhere. We must use the Epoch to break through! Do you really think this is going to work? We haveth no choice! I'm a frog from the Middle Ages! I know these things! We must break through! Cyrus, please protect us. I'm waiting for you, Lavos. And you get this cool song, too. Just a little variation on Chrono's theme. Like, wh where are we? Are you kidding? Lightspeed Kamikaze, that's a once-in-a-lifetime Admiral Holdo maneuver. No, that doesn't happen more than one time in a million years. Wow. Oh. You can open your eyes. We're inside. We beat the odds. No turning back now.
Um, yeah, literally no turning back now. This is the inside of Lavos. They didn't have to make the scene look as cool as it did. They could have just, like, had you teleport inside. They could have just explained it... ...through text. Vinny, who is that gentle folk in the top right? Oh, you mean the top left? That's the strong man. You wanna see the strong man? Like, Scoob, we're gonna go see the strong man! Skooks! Atrop- whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, it's Robo, but with the ribbon from Atropus. It's a nice little bonus. Chat, I don't think we have enough money. We should- we should buy more money. What do you think? Ah uh, yes, the stonk market. I too have a grasp of the stonk market. Stocks and bonds and, and loans and uh, uh Deutschmarks from Helsinki to Geneva. Stocks and bonds. I'm a big business stock bond man. What the hell are you talking about, Gord? That's soap on a rope! Doc Bondman is the newest Kojima villain. <laughs> He's just a banker. Okay, so what was the thing I had to do now? Um, people were telling me there was only a cop. There's some things that I couldn't do until... Go to Medina. You can talk to Atropus, and now the black box can be interacted with. Cool. Boy, it's cold. I have to get my other little heater and bring it... ...to my feet! Because it's, it's actually very cold. Vinny, when are you going to move to Florida like every other New Yorker? Another 15, 20 years, probably. <laughs> In Florida. <laughs> I don't know why- I don't know where that N came- mm, mm, Florida. Wait, where am I going? I'm in Medina, so what am I interacting with? Head to the sewer entrance. Oh. Sealed by a mysterious force, the pendant starts to react. The fuck? The hell is this shit?
more OC. Whoa! The last of the floating islands. The <laughs> Now, now, this is taking some extreme liberties with the source material. Melchior's hut. Did Melchior figure out a way to get an island floating? I, I wouldn't... Deny, I wouldn't... necessarily doubt that he could do that, and did do that. feel like I'm the asshole here because they were just hanging out like someone in chat said they were reading and and here I am busting into their house and keeping them from their studies Maybe if they weren't all on the same fucking timer. Vinny, those are counters? Oh, oh, oh! Well, that makes a lot more sense. Corruption streams are on Monday, right? I mean, technically... It's, uh, it's uh, once a month I tend to do corruption streams on Sunday night, so you're, you know, but when I say Sunday night, I'm like talking like midnight, so it usually is Monday, yeah. DMC2 streams are on Wednesday. Yes, they are, yeah. Where'd those rockets even come from? Oh, we got some glitched rockets here. Turns out making Chrono Trigger was a lot harder than it looked. I have to hope that this will be the uh, success. The killing blow, otherwise uh, we're in for a bit of trouble. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my god. Robo, Frog, Magus, I didn't expect to see you three here. Welcome to Neo Zeal. I started building this place in 1019, shortly after copying my memories into the supercomputer here. Unfortunately, shortly after that, some unknown source sent out a virus to take control of all the robots. Luckily, I detected it and shut them down before any harm was done. Now that you're here, could you help me get everything back online again? Oh, you will. Thank you. The first thing we need to do is find the source of the virus. Someone in Chorus may know something. Some interesting OC you got here.
first thing you need to do is get some antivirus software. I prefer Norton. Melchior, is this an ad? Just go to Norton.com. For $14.99 a month, you will get all of the virus protection you need. Melchior, are you there? Use promo code Melchior to get 15% off your first order of dollarcockclub.cock. Okay, thanks, Melchior. That's really great. So uh, we have to go to Chorus and get you some antivirus. Also sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. This is the game that everyone's playing. Excellent graphics, fun, addictive gameplay, over 50 million players at any given moment. Thanks, Melchior. Oh, mind if I step in for a moment, Melchior? Sure, Dan Aykroyd, what would you like to say? Well, I'm here to talk about my Crystal Head Vodka. Got it, 1999 AD, special, special deal, no terpenes, absolutely no Lavos magic energy. No scum. Certified scum free. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. Zero swamp juice. What, what does that mean, Dan Aykroyd? Dan Aykroyd, I saw a UFO. And the alien, his name was Herman. And he told me that your, your vodka is going to save humanity. Oh, I believe you. Uh, you told me it's about an alien, I believe it. Absolutely. Can I help you with something? Welcome, how may I help? R66Y, but that's highly improbable. Yes, it's me. It is complicated. Wait, so you're using a contraction, and then you're not using a contraction? Uh, data from Star Trek? But give me a moment, and I will explain everything. So the new software update is what's causing the artificial life forms to behave this way. I was to be reprogrammed by Mother Brain after I oversaw the complete expans expansion of the new update. I can meet at the Genodome tonight and shut the virus down, but you'll need to find your own way in. Oh shit. got locked into this. Um, I, I don't mind having more side quest stuff. And now she's gone. What the fuck? I hope I didn't break the quests. Ah, some volunteers. This is a trick I picked up on El Nido. It's called Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Ready? One. Two. Three. Why- why is Robo a giant, disgusting rat? Oh god! Ah, <laughs> oh, he messed up and turned you into a rat. Priceless. A rat? Aw, oh, dang it, I goofed again. Hold still while I fix this. Delay that. This is perfect for infiltrating the Genodome. Perfect!
It's just, just me. Just, just us, some rats and cats. I've shut down the laser guards and opened the door, but you'll need to sneak in and copy this drive into one of Mother Brain's computers. It's a backup of R66Y CPU. Since her update was unable to corrupt your pro you, your programming will be able to monitor her for suspicious activity. Also, if it's detected, it will be able to erase all memory of its detection. You just told a rat your master plan. You are aware of that, right? Cool. Cool robot on the left there. I can do this with my little rat claws. Robo copies his memory into the computer. It immediately starts running a diagnostic. After a minute or so, a message appears on the screen announcing that the system is now running as intended. Does this- this kind of... works with Chrono Cross. You did it. Mother Brain and the other robots are back to normal and will be working with humans from now on. Come visit me in the future sometime. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the future is fucked. But that is a Chrono Cross reference. Now they want to bring people back to the dome. Oh, okay. Instant change. Thanks for your assistance in clearing up the virus. Yeah, Gob. Robo's in the back, eh? Gob. Did Gob send ya? Everything is running fine here, thanks. <laughs> in other words, don't come in. This will break the game. Oh, hey there. How you doing there? You wanna go see Gobshite? Okay. Vinny, please check your party. Oh, okay. I was- <laughs> I was like, oh no. Did Chrono get, like, fucking yeeted out of the game? Check 2300 to see if anything changed. Let me take a look. So, oh, the mother brain computer was behind this. Well, no matter, my bots are back online and functioning properly. Now, I believe there is something, someone here that you might be interested in meeting. You can come out now! Bar? I wonder whatever became of my brothers. Oh, okay, hi, Doreen. I always wondered what had become of you. So, you're going to try to save the world, huh? Well, looks like my brothers are fully on board. Let's see what the three of us can do. Now, that actually makes a lot of sense. With Doreen's power, the Masamune upgrades into the ultimate weapon, the Master Moon. <laughs> Which, you know, is a cr another Chrono Cross thing. Thanks again. This- this whole time, all of that was a frog side quest.
Vinny, it looks like there's a cave out here. Oh no, no, there's no cave out here. Nope, nope, nothing out here. What are the stats on the Master Moon? I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's good. Sewers seems like the last quest here. I don't even... Can you... It doesn't even look like you can get into the sewers. Poor Onelia says, I have not found any way into the sewers. Okay, go to prehistory. This uh, reptites need to be sent to 1999. Okay. See if 2300 changed. I doubt it, but I can check. Vinny, if you were forced to choose from any big pizza chain, what would you choose? <sighs> Domino's made me sick last week. But it tasted good. I don't know, what other chains are there? Like, um... We only have, really have, like, Papa, Pizza Hut, Domino's, Little Caesars... I've never eaten at a Sabaro, so I couldn't tell you. Day of Reckoning has, has arrived, of course. I know there's other chains out there, like, but not... that I can... tell are in New York. Costco? Round Table, I've never eaten that. Marco's is a decent chain. You're going to make me go get some Costco pizza, aren't you? Sabaro is food poison incarnate. Imagine being from not the United States. You come to New York and you have a Sabaro. I know that's the meme, but then imagine how many people actually do that. Which is to say, probably a lot of people. And I just want to be like, no motherfuckers. Does Trader Joe have any frozen pizza? Yeah, they do. It's pretty good, too. Elijah Wood says he's a big fan of frozen, uh, fast food, uh, not fast food, frozen pizza. I think it was, a, there's an interview where he voice cracked like I did. No, he said that he likes, um, shitty pizza. Like, frozen pizza. He, he and his, his girlfriend get it and eat it. The party explains to Mizla the situation at the preserve. So you want me to take the last of my kind to a time only months away from a total global apocalypse. The future will be safe once we're able to beat Lavos. It's your chance to preserve the last of your legacy. Tis thine decision, but thou must make it in haste. Very well. I will put my trust in you, but then again, I don't really have a choice, do I? Sorry, it's just this, the song we're <laughs> What's wrong with me? It's like I forget I'm streaming and I just make stupid noises. Turns out the song was corn the whole time.
you have a favorite frozen pizza? I don't know. I don't really love the frozen pizza. I have to find one that I really like. There's a local Italian deli that has great frozen pizzas because they're, like, made fresh. And then... You know, you, you know they're made, like, on the premises, and then you just put them in your uh, oven. And they're incredible, but it doesn't really count because they're made fresh every day. Um... I, Red Baron's got the big fucked up pepperoni slices. I like those. I haven't had a frozen pizza in about a year and a half, maybe? Two years? So... Yeah, so I don't know. Thick or thin crust. Uh, don't make me choose because I like both. I really do. I can't choose one. I usually go for, um... Kind of a, in the middle, really. I mean, most of the pizza I really think is my favorite around here is kind of not really massively crusted. <laughs> it's just leoparded nicely with a small-ish to medium-sized crust. And so I can I can kind of do both, but I, I'll tell you what, there's a really great thin crust place that I like in the city. There's a Staten Island one too, I'll tell you the name of it. Um, and Pizza Man did a review of it, and it was his most fucked up review ever. There was someone like bleeding from the face. Some lady was like, don't film me, even though he wasn't filming her. It's called Joe and Pat's. And it's pretty good, it, but the pizza man reviewed this place and like a bunch of weird shit kept happening while he was trying to review the pizza. Yeah, there's just dudes yelling. Crazy. The fuck is this guy? Who is this guy? What is this guy? Is the, what is him doing? Vinny, do you fold your pizza when you eat it? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta do the fold. This isn't as bad as I thought. Hopefully it lasts. Thank goodness someone is finally here to help us with Diego. You don't mind that it's- it looks like an alien? This guy! You- you have no... What? There's people that don't like the fold? That's the- listen. Whatever you want to eat your pizza with a fork and knife, you don't want to fold it. That's fine. I'll tell you what, though. If you fold it, it's easier to eat. And whatever oil doesn't get on your shirt if you don't eat. Uh, well, I mean, I guess if you hold it the right way, I'm sure it's fine. But the fold is just a really, it's a classic way to do it. You fold it and you eat it. That's it. I don't know where you found these strange fellows, but they sure do know they're dinosaurs. Here, take this evade chip as payment. My colleague at Aris will help you use it in the special machine. You guys don't think I fold it horizontally, right? Like, you're getting the right image here. Don't worry, we can handle this. Well, this is... This is a nice side quest in a weird way. I like it. This time period isn't so bad. We fit right in in Medina. Oh, I forgot there's monsters. Uh, no one... Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> I forgot that this place, like, this game has, like, monster people walking around, so yeah, these lads fit in. Um, this side quest, though, isn't too offensive. Meaning, I think it fits right in. And I like, uh, some of the side content that they added for this. I always felt like this game was a little short. So adding a couple extra things to do at the end of the game is cool. And I didn't love Chrono Trigger DS's extra stuff. Because it was very, like, fetch questy.
Um, now I have to go to the Aris Dome. This is still fetch quests. You're right. Yeah, that's a good point. At least there's a little bit of story here, though. Um, which Aris Dome in the future or here? The Aerith Dome. Okay, where is that exactly, chat? <laughs> is it in Truce, Poor? Run North? Okay. Oh, it's this one. You must be the field team, right? The research lab, right? Okay. Working on increasing the intelligence in animals. Like a tadpole? Like what? you can now use the special enhancements machine assuming you have the required chips I can do each procedure once on a team of three so make sure they're the ones you want and uh, none of these will work on a robot so don't bother oh okay well I'm just gonna use my final party then that I almost always go with That is a Fallout reference. Stamina enhancement. Um, Densen your bones and laser to permanently reduce the sensation in your pain receptors. This will let you take a few more hits. Okay. That's it, you're good to go. P is the power enhancement. Simple injection to permanently reduce your body's myostatin production by about 18%. Man, I remember when Fallout, like, if you even thought about Fallout, it was usually a good thing. And, like, people were happy, and now it's just shit. God, it's just fucking shit! I'm not saying that, you know, aside from Fallout 76, that's whatever. But I'm talking just in general, the reputation of both Bethesda and Fallout is really taking a nosedive. Impervious enhancement, not really impervious, just something that started with I. What we need to do here is add an agent to your blood that causes it to clot immediately after making contact with air, allowing more cuts and scrapes before passing out. What? Accuracy enhancement, military grade targeting system, 1000 field tests in your mind is subconscious memories. This- this party is now fucking broken. Completely broken. Laser defense. Thermal dissipators into this... ...subcutaneous layer, reducing the effect from heat and energy damage by about 10%. Okay. I am God! Come on, you know!
It's pretty interesting. Uh, <laughs> look at Magus's stats. Several of them are starred out completely. A little nutty. Vinny, did you see Lumpy's newest animation? Yep. I'll show it on stream at some point. Yeah, I just feel a little underpowered, so... Cats are bugged. Cats in real life are bugged. I'm bugged because I'm allergic to them. Not like anyone else on the team needed this stuff, but here we go. Thrilling menu gameplay. Um, go to 2300. I don't really think there's anything else to do in 2300. I'm not gonna let you HA! Anymore, chat. Sorry, it's just, it's over. Head to the Genodome in 2300 and talk to Girl Robo. Wouldn't they all be dead? Well, maybe not. Maybe the future has been changed. I don't know. No music here? Just rent a room for six months instead of time traveling. I mean, ultimately, everyone dies anyway, so why are they even fighting against it? I swear I'm not Queen Zeal. Hi, everyone. Who is this nihilistic guy on this stream? I try to have good time at night, good night time, and this guy remind me of my own mortality. Don't want mortality. Here, take this. There are no more of these left in this time, but I've been saving it for you. It's a booster pack. It'll give you a barrier against all attacks and allow you to scan your enemy targets. Thank you, I will put this to good use. Like... I mean, is there... anything in this universe that can now stand up to this team? I guess it's just been installed already. Booster pack, yeah.
Drono and Specchio, maybe. Or all of poor. That's a good point. Don't worry, we'll keep working with the humans until you're able to fix the future. Time to wreck Specchio. I think I completed all Specchio things. I can't even fight Specchio anymore. fight him from the bucket. Um, I could do that. I was gonna look around for the remains of the Black Omen. I guess not. Guess we're going to the bucket. Get in the bucket. Come on now. Oh. You like herbs and spices? That's right. We're going, we're going into the bucket. of <laughs> chicken nuggets. The nuggets are the best part of the chicken. Be certain, yes. Cometh, Master Moon! Actually, it's Master Moon now. Finally, I shall destroy you! Ah. It's a hell of a thing to see. Lavos now needs to fight us. You are here with me! Uh, thanks, Frog. That was cool. Ow. Oh, okay. Never mind. Here I am. Here I am talking about how fucking powerful I am. Guess not. Yeah, we know. You will be humbled, fucking jabroni! We've seen this several times by now. <laughs> I can't skip it, though. I guess I could just reset, but... May as well watch it one final time. You dragged all the Reptites in the future just for them to get killed by Lavos, yes.
So where's El Nido? So the driller class in um, Deep Rock Galactic, when you fire up the the, the grill, the drill, Jeed, it almost sounds like the beginning of that sound, and I can't not think of it every time. Why didn't the drone stop Lavos? Oh, because I sold it. Someone said check gear. Let's see. Once again, Frog is wearing the wrong goddamn helmet. All of this could have been avoided if Frog was just wearing the correct helmet. Just gonna give Frog the gold stud. Some music is so reminiscent of Final Fantasy, but apparently it's not the same composer. Some of it is. Like, six or seven songs are composed by Uematsu, who did Final Fantasy. But Mitsuda was a, like a student of his, kind of, and he learned from him, and... So it's, it stands to re- what the fuck? <laughs> what was that? I missed it before, yeah, I guess I was reading the chat. It's like a cascade of, of fucking failure. Like, one thing goes wrong, and then everything goes wrong. Oh god, it's like a mosaic of tadpoles. I mean, Lavos, in this form, really only has one attack that I need to worry about. And now that I cannot become confused because our statuses are locked... Okay, maybe two attacks. Like, two. It's like two main attacks there. Vinny, why are you attacking Lavos from behind? I know- I know this is tough to believe, but that's not its asshole. So who do I show? Chrono? Or- or Lavos? Provos. Fucking glove just won't go on! Uh, 
fuck. Hey, Lavos, it's me, Jay Lenos. How you doing? I'm, oh, oh, oh no. I'm wondering, do you drive around in space in a vehicle? No room? Still going. Can it be over? It ain't over yet, Snake. We'll get to the bottom of this, Lavos. What happened to the boss rush? Oh yeah, what happened to the boss rush? This is creepy. It's worse than Magus' place. We're turning back now. Literally right next to you, Frog, is Magus. Oh, that, that happens when it's connected to the Black Omen. The Ocean Palace. Uh, so, so the Black Omen Lavos is the one that you have to, uh, that you get the boss rush. Forgot about that. No save point here, is there? You can see why Gygus from Earthbound reminded me quite a bit of this stuff. Finally, you have met your match, Lavos. Cyrus, this be our finest battle. Chrono's like, die, bitch, with a big smile on his face. Why are you fighting on a pizza? No, it's just, it's leoparded nicely. What's wrong with nipple lasers, chat? This is a JRPG, what? What the fuck, there was a, a mouse monster with a giant hard phallus earlier in the game. Yeah, Falcon Hit would have been a really good move to have here, but no Ayla. Also, more amazing music. So is the shell of Lavos like a vehicle or something? Mm-hmm. Yep, it goes vroom. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> that's the speculation, is that this organism and the animal inside of it, you know, are the real Lavos. Who the fuck knows what they are? And the shell is the parasite, like, vessel. I, d I don't know. I mean, it's never really fully been explained, I guess. Good move, Frog. 
Good, good attack, buddy. The outer shell is the space travel vehicle, but we've seen small Lavos lads. You know, like we've seen the small ones, so they are those just vehicles with like little things inside them? I don't know. It's it's who knows. Doing, Magus, you you get your status is locked. Did Magus not have on hmm. his Magus hat? I think he had the thing on. His status should be like rock solid. Someone said this is so much weaker compared to the shell. Yeah, I think that the shell fight is specifically the one from the bucket is supposed to be like a hard area, um, barrier of entry so that you don't fight it too early in the game. And it's actually, I'd say, easier, if I'm not mistaken, than when you defeat Lavos through the Black Omen, where you have to, you know, fight every enemy in the game. It takes, like, watch my 2016 playthrough and you'll probably see it. But you have to fight, like, um, it mimics the Dragon Tank, it mimics, uh... Magus, it mimics um, the big penis monster and various other enemies from the game. Chat says La Lavos can bypass gear. Uh. You fought the Ocean Palace version earlier. Anyway, here's the final form of La what the fuck is this thing? Still, I don't know what it is. It looks like a dog in a spacesuit to me, like a, one of the English sheepdogs. So, since the dawn of time, it has slept underground, controlling evolution on this world for his own purpose. It is too much to bear. We have been reared like animals. Our lives hath been for naught. We were created only to be harvested. All people. And all living things. My life retaineth its meaning. We haveth our own will. It's over for you. Your life ends here. Again, Chrono has nothing to say except cool hair. So, I really like this song. It's got good stereo, too. Like, I only ever had TVs with shitty speakers, so I didn't know this was good stereo until years later. This would be my choice of stage for Smash Brothers. Like something that does something like this. Oh my god, really? Whoa! 
What the fuck, man? I didn't save from the previous form either. Um, oh no. Just enough to kill Chrono. Here I am thinking I'm so fucking overpowered. The mod buffed Lavos? Oh, okay. We can breathe again. Yeah, he sings for some reason, very poorly. I guess all this stuff are its memories of the planet. That it has corrupted. All right, Dorito attack didn't hurt. Three night. Yep, yep, yep. That's a heal. That's a heal. Physical attacks only. You need to kill the center to break its defense? I don't remember that. Um, what- I don't remember how to fight this fucker for some reason. That's- that's the bad attack right there. That- that one's not good. Mmm! <clears throat> Left one's down, at least. The right one is the actual Lavos. Right, I, yeah. That I remember. I just didn't know if it was a better idea to kill the middle thing first, or... yeah. center so they don't regenerate. Well, this dude heals center. Try something out. The core on the right revives the left and center. If I'm not mistaken, the core on the right has a lot of HP. Yes, because real Lavos. So it turns out Lavos was just a little pod this whole time. And not an English sheepdog. Ah! 
Hey, diseased puck. Vinny, aren't you just a brain? Oh, barely. Middle one dead. Oh, it'll be back up in a moment, yeah. Still pretty overpowered. I just had a couple moments of of uh, shi uh, pants shitting. Pants were shit. Chrono. Chrono. Chrono! It's time to rise and shine. We have a little surprise for you. This is Chrono's brother. Um, Bono. What, what was that? The execution has- it's the day of execution has arrived or something? Retribution. We've been looking for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, don't! Chrono hasn't done a thing! She says Chrono has been a perfect gentleman, but... What do you think, Chancellor? Chrono's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? Please, just listen to me. We had to... ...save the future, right? Huh? You saved the future and gave us hope! You fought Magus' troops and brought peace to the kingdom in the year 600. Bunga bunga! Chrono beat Reptites. Yeah, Doan should not be here. I, I changed that future. I don't know what the fuck Doan is doing here. W what's going on here? Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? Our kinsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsman? You mean these are my ancestors and descendants? Here I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter. You were saving past, present, and future. Now for a true victory parade. Tonight we celebrate you. Now, Marl, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. Come along with Chrono, our hero. Princess Nadia is finally home. At last, Guardia is back to normal. It's a moonlight parade. You got your haw.
Again, when you play a game like this and every moment of this game has the music to perfectly punctuate a scene without it being overbearing. And there's so many pieces of music in this game, too. Like, they could have just used... They could have just done what Dragon Quest XI did. Which is reuse every song. But again, Mitsuda, definitely, he got himself pretty sick while, uh, doing the music for this game. He overworked. Yum, lemonade sure tastes great outdoors. Chrono, have a sip. You're the hero today. Honey, don't just be a sack of shit. Dance with me. A uh, potatoes, not shit. Chrono, the king says you saved the future. Wait till I tell my friends. You saved us all? That's nice, dear, but I wish you would spend more time around the house. It's a real problem when the person who's in charge of the cat is gone. Not much business in weapons anymore, but I like it that way. Melchior, we need to talk about zeal. Like, we need to spend some serious time talking about zeal. Princess is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, of course you are too. Wait, but I am the princess right now, no? Oh, oh, he's talking to his girl. He wasn't talking to Marl. Okay, never mind. Marl. Well, everyone, this is it. Each to thine own time. His name was Glenn there for him. That's weird. The gate has grown weak. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Ayla was strong. Marl, too. Ayla, have fun! You're my distant ancestor, so you'd be- you'd better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> no worry, Ayla very strong. Right. Hey, what do you mean by that? He no dummy, we go now! <laughs> Goodbye, cave woman. <laughs> ah, tis a feisty crowd, but... They are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Lena waits, your majesty. We too shall take our leave. <laughs> Mr. Glenn. Long farewells never were necessary. Right. Besides, actions speak louder than words. Yeah. Don't these things end up with the princess kissing the frog? He liked it. So you're going to search for Shala? <laughs> Bye, bitch! It's like, God damn it, Magus, say something! Say goodbye to your friends. We taught you what it meant to have friends. You know what? It's better that way. If he, like, ended with, um... You showed me the true potential of friendship. It was you that I learned that power isn't about magic and killing. It was about... The friends we made along the way. I probably would hate that very much, so this is much better. Luca, I will miss you. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you gonna say goodbye to Robo? This is the saddest one for me. She knows. Knows what? Robo was born in a bleak future. 
When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Robo may not exist in the future. Haha, <laughs> please relax. The new future has a place for me. Darn it, Robo! Don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Luca. You have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Tears don't become you, Luca. Robo will be there in the new future. Goodbye. Caution. Oil has washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. Either a really good jape, or he's really crying oil. In any case, he's learned to become more human. Do you remember that talk we had? Do you mean about whether our lives flash by before we die? Yeah, I get the feeling that the entity is finally at rest. Yes, I feel that too. Time travel, how exhausting. We should dismantle the epoch. Its job is it's finished. Didn't I give you cat food? I bought 99 cat food. Oh no. You naughty thing, come back here. Look, Chrono, your cat's running away because you haven't been feeding it. Cats are bugged. Ah. Oh. Hey, come back here. Oh, great. Chrono, that gate will never open again. <laughs> the best Chrono moment in the entire game is that right there. <laughs> well, it looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them, but the gates... Luca, don't turn off your brain yet. Oh, I forgot, we have a time machine. Nyahaha. Princess, the king asks for your presence. I'm so happy. Now there's no reason for you to go anywhere anymore. Or go away anymore, rather. I have a gift for you to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. This is Nadia's bell. It will ring out across the land. Marl, where did you go? Could someone please lend me a hand? Ah, uh, Daddy, I hate to say this, but I can't sit around doing nothing. Made it just in time. Shall I fire one off? Uh, no, uh, Tabin. Actually, I could really use your help. I love the way the map looks in the ending like this. Kinda almost makes me wish I could explore all of it at night. And I probably said this four years ago, but what the fuck is this place? Where is all of this? There's just so much place that you just don't see in the game. I guess it shows you, like, yeah, this world is a lot bigger than what you see. But, regardless, it's, it's, yeah, there you go. I 
There you go. On Dactyl, of course. Glenn is still a frog. <laughs> Magus is flying, of course. Looking for Shala around some mountains, I guess. No, not near this cloud. What do you like better, this ending or the balloon ending with Marl? Um, I, I like this one better. It's nice to see the Epoch in action one more time. I mean, these people are too smart for anything stupid to happen to them like 10 years later. Like, um, like a dumb fire or anything like that. They should probably just keep that... You know, that they should probably just keep that time machine and use it in case of any more problems with, like, giant parasitic aliens or anything like that. Such a great ending theme, too. Really, like expands on on the uh, the main like motifs of the game just sounds so good Vinny, will you show the animated cutscene? Sure. Well, if anyone wants to see the rest of the endings, you can probably just YouTube them. Just type Chrono Trigger endings. There's like... What, 12? Or 15 or so? Yeah, there's a lot of endings. But this one feels the most complete to me. Um, and then there's, you know, there's an ending for the, the PS1 version, as you know. Got some animated cutscenes. Wow, that was weird timing. I accidentally played the video at the exact same moment that exact song ended up playing. Very... spooky. The quality is not good. I mean, the PC version has better quality cutscene, but I can't find the ending, specifically. Um, the Steam animated Chrono Trigger ending, Steam. Let me try Steam, or... Yep, found it. <sighs> well, there's, there's another playthrough complete. But, one more thing to see. They got married.
Goku and Goku. May you forever find happiness. I like that they probably just had some dudes on the staff. Like, make unga bunga noises. He is Green Goku. Glenn. No longer just a frog. It'd be cool to play like a sequel to Chrono Trigger where it's just in the past and you play just as Glenn. And you go on a bunch of like medieval adventures. It's Gohan? Oh, okay. Who's Goken? Goken. It's a real character from Street Fighter. Oh, I was just trying to be a jerk. I'm sorry. Um, I don't believe Magus is in this ending, because fuck him. And here's the lead into Chrono Cross. <laughs> Which is just gonna make me sad. But at least you have Luca gets um, her own baby robo. Why does it make me sad? Because there's a lot of Chrono Cross stuff that is re really sad um, in relation to the main cast of Chrono Trigger. So, I don't know if I can... Um, Vinny, I don't know anything about Chrono Cross. Why is it bad? It's not. It's, I like Chrono Cross a lot. I think it's great. But like I said in previous streams of this game, it doesn't feel like a true sequel. It kind of just feels like it's in the same universe. And it does some pretty horrendous thing things to uh, the characters that really bother me. But that said, as its own game, I've always said I really always will love that game just on its own. I kind of wish it had nothing to do with Chrono Trigger. Chrono Cross playthrough. Yet again, I get the question and I will answer it. No. I could see myself returning to it in like five years. If I'm alive. You know, I will be, but I mean, you know, if I'm still streaming, if I want to um, be alive in terms of video games. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, phrase this. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm being a jerk. Don't mind me, chat. I'm just trying to say, at this point in time, no one can predict the future. Not even Chrono. Not even one of the gurus, right? Who the fuck knows where I'll be in five years? Who the fuck knows where any of us will be? That said... I like the game, but I just streamed it a couple years ago, and it's not a game I want to return to the same way I returned to Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is, for me, completely timeless, if you'll forgive the pun. And Cross takes a little bit more effort for me to want to play, because it can be a little... It has some pacing issues, um, it's got some, you know, loading time stuff. It's great. It's a good game. The story makes no sense, even if you read it and you know, have it explained, it gets difficult. Baby daughter clone, it's weird as fuck. But I still think to this day, I don't feel like Chrono Trigger really ever got a sequel. It just feels like a side story in a different alternate dimension. So I'd recommend Chrono Cross if you're a fan of PS1 RPGs because it's, I think it's up there with the best. But don't go in expecting a lot if you're a Chrono Trigger fan. If you want to watch me play it, I streamed it four years ago. The microphone might not sound as good, or it might sound better depending on your perspective. But I have a stream of it, and you can find it, and that'll explain a lot, maybe. Or maybe nothing, I don't know. Vinny, Radical Dreamers could be good. Maybe. 
I'm considering it. But for now, I'm done. Uh, Chrono Trigger is over. I want to mention one more thing, which is Chrono Trigger Plus was cool. And I would say that it was probably worth giving it a shot. Maybe in like another couple months, the updates will have fixed most of the jank. It needs a pass through of like spelling. Like it needs a spell check. Uh, you know, it needs to be a little bit less buggy. Some of the story stuff is a little weird, but I'd say that over half of it was enjoyable. And some of it felt really, really appropriate. And you can tell that people that love Chrono Trigger just wanted to add a little bit more to the game and restore some of the cut content. And in that sense, I think it works well. I think an option just to have some of the cut content restored with none of the bonus stuff would have also been fine. I can't necessarily recommend it. Dev commented on the last part and said he got the typos. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I'd recommend Chrono Trigger Plus as a first playthrough, but if you're on your, like, sixth playthrough, or your twelfth or thirteenth, like me, whatever, you know, playthrough it might be after number two, I'd say check it out. It's a nice little fan bonus, and I think it was cool. I'm glad I played it. It was a good excuse to revisit this game. And once again, this game has a fuckload of endings, and if you want to check them out, just YouTube them or play the game yourself, but most of them require New Game Plus. And they're interesting. There's one ending where the dinosaurs rule the earth. <laughs> and that's a cool one. All right, I'm done. Let's see. Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger Reptite ending. I just want to see if I can find... I'll give you like a, a preview just so you can go hunt through the the rest of the endings if you have a do you have a YouTube everyone has a YouTube right a you what is a YouTube anyway but yeah it just shows you like if you beat the game at a specific time then the reptites win <laughs> I like that the green ambler is now just a person So it's not like a tremendously long ending. They're they're mostly just bonus Easter egg endings, but they're they're cool. Vinny, did you know that this is the third game you finished this week? Yeah. Weird, right? Next week I'll start something new. All right, everybody, we're going to take a quick break. Thank you for watching Chrono Trigger, my favorite game, my favorite playthrough. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you've never seen this game before and you ended up watching it for the first time, I hope you got something out of it. And I hope you understand a little bit better why I love this game so much. It's been a lot of fun talking about Chrono things, seeing Chrono art, and having people in chat make Oonga Boonga things with me. So I really, really appreciate you watching me play this game yet again. It's been a trip. So, for now, we'll take a break. And I'll be back with another video game. There's always video games, past, present, and future.